Ooh, welcome back to Sassy's Factory. Yep, today we're going to be looking at uh, just scaling things up a little bit more. I think lots of miscellaneous stuff I am managing. We're still short on our uh, heavy modular frames. And you can see right here we're short on coal. After all of our power stations, and there's uh, eight of them, <laughs> take all the coal from our incoming line, well, the steel doesn't have much to work with. So just temporarily, I had a box over here anyway, so I'm just going to get this... Uh, used up and we're going to use that very very easily hopefully uh let's just uh get a merger set up this isn't going to snap terribly well so i'm just going to just put it around here it doesn't have to be great for this we just want to uh, hook it up and that should send some coal out there there it goes and that should keep our steel going for a little while and then up here i've already crafted the two miners they're already in place uh, not on top of foundations, but they are just in place here, and then we should be able to just feed their supplies in. Um, let's just bring them to about here, and because they're rough, I'm not going to worry too much about lining things up, because we can't get that one past this, not without uh, encouragement issues, so we'd have to go out and 90 degree around. I really do want a 90 degree mode for belts. I, I, it just would please me so much more if we did. Hint. Hint. Um, developer. <laughs> anyway, uh, down here we're just going to feed this in and make sure it's merged. Uh, that will do. There we, whoops, there we go. So all of the basically iron ore from up here, which is the equivalent of, uh, let's just see, it's 60 iron ore per minute, so it's like four pure spots but with tier 1 miners, but of course because they're, they're not pure spots, uh, we have to use tier 2 miners to get there. And of course, these then mix together onto level 3 belt. And that will saturate that belt quite happily. And of course, we then will be able to put more foundries in and get more steel out. However, to get more steel out, we need more coal. So I'm going to have to take a quick trip over there and see if there's anything I can do for that. So I'm going to need to make sure that I have enough stuff for another mine of up too. So I'm going to have to head over to the base first. But one second, let me cut forwards. Okay, so we're over here in our coal spot, and I've just placed a second, well, it's actually a third Miner Mark II. Now, the level 3 belts only take 270 items per minute. Now, these spots, if we have a look here, you should see that we can produce 120 a minute. So, basically, the, the level 3 belt can only take two of these Miner Mark IIs on really good spots, plus a bit of a third one. So, yeah, uh, we have to be, a, well, not careful, but uh, we do have to be a bit, you know, cognizant of, of the fact and uh, we're not going to get all three of these output, but that's still fine. Uh, what I'm going to just do is put in a merger. Um, yep, yeah, just got any kind of conveyor merger. Um, I think I want to go sort of this way. That seems reasonable. And then we'll bring in conveyor mark three from there, conveyor mark three from there, and then. I think there's a power pole around here somewhere. Yeah. Should be able to connect all of them up. How are we doing on power, by the way? Uh, ooh, we're probably getting close. It's a good thing that look at the top right of the screen. It's a good thing that we are close enough to the expanding power infrastructure that we could have a look at doing fuel next. Uh, this is just from where I had a previous belt, by the way, in case you wonder what all this is. Uh, I was going to take it all the way over here, but... Um, I decided to actually take it properly, and uh, we're going to merge. There we go. Well, there's a few coal left. We're not going to merge there, where I was going to. We're going to merge over that way, so I needed some more belt. So uh, we have now a merge, oh, a merger here, and we can sort of send it this way. And hopefully we'll be able to get this somewhere nicely merged onto this line, just over the top of this hill. 85 left that should do it and then we can just build another, another merger straight into the belt somewhere snap it on there okay and this should produce a fully saturated coal belt which already should be nearly saturated on this belt just by uh well once it uh, runs out of its buffer which i already started mining and then when it hits this this junction here everything should get fully compressed completely and we should end up with one of these things starting to back up. And it, I'm not sure what the rules are. It looks like the rules are it takes from the sides, but prioritizes 
this direction because these aren't stacking back at all. These are. But quick way back to the base once you've got level 3 belt is just to run back along the belt. Let's see how this actually affects our steel production. I know it's actually we're going to be a little bit far ahead of the uh, coal, but uh, I will run back to the steel and uh, see you back over there. And even before the rest of it got here, it's already nicely uh, nicely stacked back, nicely compressed. Uh, this box, let's see how much of it it's actually used. I only used about half of it, so let's just put in some more of this. And again, if it ever gets a gap, it should fill up from this box. Eventually this should empty, but uh, nothing unfortunately for now. And that means pretty much we can start to set up maybe some more of those. Uh, foundries, do we have enough? No. This encased industrial beams at the very bottom right of the screen there, one out of three, they're sort of the limit on us actually scaling up quite quickly because they're also being used for that uh, recipe at the top right of the screen, the milestone. So I'm sort of caught between pillar and post here, waiting for one of those to build, but we'll see what we can do. And as it happens, our alternate recipe we can handcraft because they only take a couple of things to make more encased industrial beams and of course that lets us make even more alternate heavy modular frames or at least we can put it back in the machine it when we when we run out of these anyway uh we need 32 more and i've got three in my inventory so uh basically 29 more and uh basically these steel pipes are pretty much the um the blocker now so i'm going to keep on crafting some handcrafted stuff and um, let's just check are you actually piled back the steel pipes um at all no you're going into here presumably yeah so we can get snag another hundred and we can snag even more from the uh machine down here because everything else is piled back waiting for encased industrial beams so we can just grab them and uh, craft them in and put them back in manually so if we put those in it'll, it'll already craft another nine there so we need another ten or so uh after that but uh, i'll do that handcrafting if necessary off to expanding power infrastructure hopefully next and guess who'd managed to actually brown out their entire factory yep that's me that's me of course as normal so yeah we're gonna have to go up to 10 coal generators after i've just finished actually putting these in yes we're not even got to fuel yet but uh we do definitely need to get that going uh because i need the rest of the factory on thank you very much yep one there and we'll put another one on the other side i think this is well hopefully we've got enough coal to manage this of course it's nice that i managed to just deal with that oh we've got cable to actually make that's not a problem though we can just put a uh, crafting bench down there we go and i'm all short of cable i really should put some kind of cable production in the factory uh let's just see do we have enough now for the power coal generator we do just about and uh, let's line that up there we go and that's lined up so now we should be able to put another splitter in hopefully and uh this will then again hopefully line up with everything else uh where do we need the splitter which orientation we need to come this way there we go and if we just snap it to the belt we should well we, we may not be able to line it up accurately we need two more cable. Really? Two? Okay, two more cable. One, two, three, four. And there we go. So now you should snap. That's right. And there we go. Then we just need another power pole. Okay, and that, once these are hooked up, Cable. Cable. Horse cable. It's like a Deadpool movie. Good movie, by the way. Okay, so that should be. Hopefully. Are you ready to start? No power? Hmm. You should have connect connected. Oh, is this not snap properly? Weird. Uh, okay, so we will just make sure it snaps properly by doing it this way then. Uh, one there. And one there. Do check for it when that happens. We don't want it to actually happen more than 
the minimum amount. So off it goes. Yep, those should start producing power. And then maybe we'll have enough coal to actually continue. Uh, so yeah, we're up to 550 megawatts. So I can go and turn on the things I had to just turn off and hopefully finish off this milestone. And we should now have enough for our heavy, mod well, enough for heavy modular frames to complete this thing and get going. Off you go. Milestone unlocked. Okay, the fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally improved conveyor belts can now be constructed. Okay. So in tier 6, expanded power, we have conveyor belt mark 4s, and we have fuel generators. Conveyor belt mark 4, cost, just concrete beam. These these concrete beams. For some reason, you can make it anything out of concrete. Same thing with these foundations. Foundations are metallic. We you making with just concrete? No idea. I'm not actually complaining too loudly. I don't want to have to spend iron plates as well. No, let's not complain about that. Uh, anyway, so yes, if we have a production line of these, we can replace our steel versions with the conveyor belt Mark IVs. And as you can see, they can transport for 450 resources per minute. So yeah, it's not quite double the uh, the tier three, but uh, it's it's getting on there. Um, considering our original one is 60. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And that's that done. So we then need to look at power. So fuel generator is probably going to be gigantic. Only needs three heavy modular frames, which I'm happy about. More cable, circuit boards, and motors, however. And I've got quite a few of those. So can I actually make any more heavy, mod uh, heavy modular frames? Um, I just need some steel pipe. Steel pipe, can I craft it manually? Oh, I could if I had steel but uh, I may have to go and grab some more. Let's just go and grab it from our construction machines. Um, manufacturing, whatever it's called. There we go. So, yeah, we'll just grab a few of those. And, well, they should start be, bu be building, but uh, no, they are building fine. Uh, I think we're just short on... Well, yeah, still short on steel. It's coming through faster, but it is a Mark III belt, so... Yeah, I need uh, to put more uh, foundries down. And uh, I'll do that off camera. Let's get started with a fuel generator, though. We need one more uh, heavy modular frames. Just one batch would do, if that's enough. Um, we need steel pipes still for that. I've got enough encased industrial beams for it, just not enough steel pipes. Fine, I'll skip forwards to actually do that. However, in the meantime, can we actually do... Um, Anything else I actually want? Um, I just need cable, really. So again, as normal, let's just craft all that up. There's plenty of steel water. There's plenty of copper wire around. So I'll grab that later. There we go. And now I just have to get some steel pipes. So one second. Now that we've unlocked that, if you remember, we have these four machines up here in our sort of crude oil area, and they're making plastic for the most part. So we've got a whole crude oil line coming in here. And the plastics is sort of, you know, piling back. So what we could do now is switch some of these. And I think what I'm going to actually do, just to get started with this, and see how well it actually does, is uh, switch this third one across from crude oil into fuel. Okay. And we're going to just reconnect this back to there. And take the rubber side off, so this should start producing fuel. Uh, it needs power, of course, and I disconnected these from power grid, so let's just reconnect them. There they go. So this should start producing fuel at the other side. Five fuel, 37 per minute. That may not be enough for what we're about to build. So I'm going to then need to just get this sorted. Uh, there's our fuel, our first batch. Oh no, it, com it comes in batches, actually. Uh, yeah, it comes out in fives, and uh, that's fine. Okay, so let's give this a go. Uh, we just need to then connect this, and I think I'm going to just send it upwards a little bit. Yeah, a bit further across. Is that too close? Yeah, too close. There we go. And we're going to send it over the top of here, 
and up onto this ledge because this ledge is going to be big enough to cope with the fuel generator fuel generator is a massive machine so you, you probably want to uh leave some space let's put it that way so let's just bring you onto there okay now let's build this machine out and let's see where we get to so um it's going to produce, I think it's 150 megawatts. It's quite a lot. It's not really enough to power our um, entire factory by itself, so we are still going to need some of those coal generators, but we can put it down. Let's see where we are in power. Fuel generator, it's massive, so you want to find the input side and decide which way, where you actually want them. I think for now we're going to put them this way, and it is around about 3x3, three three. so you do want to keep enough space, uh, something like that. To build feed into these things. It's massive. Okay. Uh, so we can then bring our fuel temporarily over here. And we don't have to worry about splitting it just yet. Uh, that was good. Considering bringing in stuff that way. But uh, it's more beneficial. Oh. Yep. There it goes. And it's going to start producing. It does however need a power connection. So we are going to connect up the power. And it connects to the back. So you may want to reroute that. But now we're at 700 megawatts, and you can see, yeah, we're producing, well, we've got a lot of fuel, but remember, it is quite slow to produce this fuel. And we've got to see whether it actually consumes it. It takes one every five seconds. So, what's that? That's going to be 10 a minute, uh, 12 a minute. So 12 a minute, and this produces 37 a minute. So this can produce enough for maybe three of these. However, what we'll probably find is, you know, we're going to have a supply problem on the crude oil side because it needs to produce plastic and it needs to produce fuel. And in case we need to produce rubber, well, we have another rubber sort of factory right here. So uh, that's pretty good. So we've got enough power to basically manage whatever we want to build now. And that means I can probably put down finally those extra, extra production machines. We want extra foundries. Of course, I'm going to need some beams. I've got the beams. I just need some more steel pipe, and then we can put them down. So I'm going to head back over to the steel. And here we are. We should be able to now scale these up so we can get a foundry in place. Uh, oops, I don't want to actually do that. I want to just actually place something. Uh, let's turn that around. Yep, and let's line it up with everything else. I'm going to place, uh, let's say, two or three of these, I want to say. Let's go for three. Okay, nice. And that means I can then start supplying them, of course, assuming I have enough coal to actually supply them with. So, yeah, we are going to need to then snap the stuff to it here. It will be slightly off. I really wish you could actually um, basically snap this nicer, but uh, we want the right input, don't we, for this. So we want them right about here. And about here... And then here, I guess. <clears throat> Although we may have to clean up this one because this is a merger. But then we should be able to just supply everything. So I need to just put in a poles. These poles need to be lined up. Yep, and they're quite easy to place because we've aligned it. Well, in fact, hang on. I say quite easy to place. Put them in the wrong place then. Uh, let's just get them in the right place there. And finally, and then we can just connect up as we've done before. And all of these will then have uh, everything they need. Well, they'll need the, the iron ore as well, but I'll do that bit off camera. Uh, you've seen that bit before. We just need to be a bit careful with how we actually place these. Uh, what I may have to do, yeah, I may have to tear stuff down to actually get that top layer in, but uh, one second. Well, you, if I if you put them at this level rather than trying to you know stack them directly on top of each other with them merged, you can just put a pole up through an existing belt like this. It'll let you place for some reason. 
no idea why. And once you do that, you can then put an entire belt down, decide what you want to do with that, and then of course you can use the stackable poles, uh, these things, to make it look nice, uh, or look supported, I guess, is the, uh, the other way of doing it. So yeah, that will work quite perfectly well, and let's just make sure this is all at the same level. Uh, hopefully it is. I don't want to have to rebuild everything, but uh, uh, it's, it's always a possibility. Uh, so let's just get that there. And then we want to... Where's the pole for these? Are they just going straight down? There's no need for a pole. Good. Yep, they're more than perfectly fine. And uh, in goes all of these. And we just select the recipe, and they should start producing. No power. Um, we need another power pole or two. Uh, I want to put one maybe... Is it in line with these? Yeah, put one there. And then we want another one towards the end. So we'll connect that up to that. That up to this one. And then we should be all done. We'll just connect all the powers up. There we go. And how shall we? Oh, well, 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 well. We've got lots and lots of overhead. So, yeah, I'll finish off the last couple of splitters and we should be done. That's all the input sides done. And given that we've got five here, it makes it quite nice for the output. We can uh, then just... Whoops, not the smart splitter. We can just merge in this way and line everything up with um, the machine output. Well, it's slightly off, but uh, that'll do. And then we just, well, we need to, need to merge again, really. So we just turn this away. Uh, heading that direction. Yep. And then one, th whoops, <laughs> wrong direction. There we go. One from here to there. Clean it up later. Let's just get it started. There we go. That into here. This one can go away. This one can go away. And then we just replace it, pointing a different direction. Again, might be nice if we could rotate them in place, but uh, yeah, that's not, well, not that important by comparison to the other things. Uh, is that right? No. no. Let me just get rid of these belts. There we go. Get rid of the merger as well. And now I should be able to line this thing up. One. Two. And then all the output can go this way. And then this is like the master, if you like. And this can uh, be connected with all of the rest of the belt. With some kind of pole. And steel. Hopefully. Now, is that going to be completely compressed for all time? Maybe not. <laughs> it may have to see how well we can actually do that, but that certainly looks a lot healthier. And we will see what's coming out of this. A lot of this will be backlog. Um, how, is it losing the backlog? 60, 59, 58. Uh, yeah, it is losing the backlog on at least some of these. Yeah, steel ingot. And we'll see how well that goes. However, yeah, it's looking a lot nicer, isn't it? I think so. And hopefully that will mean then back at our factory, we'll be able to kind of craft things like steel beams, steel pipes, a whole lot faster. Now, next episode, I think we're going to be moving on to looking at scaling whatever we need to replace uh, th basically tier three belt with tier four belt. So right now I just have this box. This box is full of steel beams and it's kind of useful. Uh, pick up a hundred or so. Yes, it'll got miscellaneous stuff in it, but it's OK for now. However, for special cases, we're going to want to replace... Well, our steel should be coming along sometime soon. Uh, we want to replace that with our Tier 4 belt. So Tier 4, that takes encased industrial beams. So here it comes. Oh, it's all... That looks great. Uh, the encased industrial beams are made from over here, so we can have a look at this. So specifically, we need concrete and we need steel pipe. Steel pipe, if we go head back a little bit, is made from this machine from steel ingots. Now, what I think I want to do is create another setup entirely 
and again next episode with this constructor and with another assembler over here um probably over here somewhere remember we've got this concrete spot if we can get the concrete spot going and then we can maybe even divide off some of that steel that's coming into our factory we can pull off some of the steel there it goes and uh oh that's nicely backed up now as well uh yes uh, we can pull off some of that steel that concrete that's right there i'll move these belts around and then we'll be able to make a, a, a small little um, addendum that is just basically making the uh, thing in case beams for us. And that will let us basically upgrade to tier four. And that will basically be producing that alongside the little beams that we already have for tier three belt. So very, very useful for late game stuff or indeed speeding things up. And I may need to do a little bit more exploring. However, that's for another day. We've got a fuel generator done. It's over there. It's gigantic. <laughs> But it is working. We've got uh, in pre in much improved steel by far, much improved coal, and now we're sort of going to be going to sort of um, speeding up those sort of end game resources at least until the next tier is out. Now, one thing to note: at the end of April, I believe the sulfur technology is coming out, so that's probably explosives, gunpowder, and everything else. Uh, so we'll be able to free up more resources that way. I'm not sure if another tier is going to open up, however, so that may well be the month after or month after that. We'll, we'll take, keep an eye on that, but do keep a watch out for patches, because the end of April, a couple of weeks away, something like that, uh, we should be able to have more stuff to play with. All right, so I'll leave it there for this episode. Maybe slightly short, but uh, should be okay. And uh, we'll come back next episode for some more satisfactory. So if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, share, click on the bell if you want notifications, and of course, more importantly than all, do leave a comment for your fellow players. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.